Hi, Morgan. Hi, Ashley. How's your day going? It's going good, Miss Allen. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're having a good day. Hey, Miss Allen. Oh, hi, Luke. It's nice to see you. How are you doing, kiddo? I'm good. It's nice to see you too, Miss Allen. You're my favorite teacher, and I hope you're having a good day too. Aww, you are so sweet, Luke. Thank you. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Kaden. Hi, Elena. Math, my least favorite subject. I'm doing so poorly in here, guys. I'm gonna fail. Just ask Miss Ellen for help. That's easy for you to say. You're her favorite student. Yeah, she loves you, man. She hates me. She doesn't hate you, Ryan. She just wants what's best for you. Okay, kids. Today, we're just gonna take the time to, you know, go over what we've learned so far. So, I'm just gonna write a problem on the board here, and it'll be up to you guys to solve it. Oh, great. Let's just hope she doesn't call on me. Okay. Does anyone know how to solve this problem? Oh, great. Mixed fractions. Regular fractions are hard enough. Dude, it's really not that hard. I could easily figure it out. Ryan, can you come up here and solve this problem for me? Ugh, why would she do this to me? I don't know how to solve this problem. It's very simple. What is six and two thirds times three and three elevenths? I don't know. Ryan, this isn't a hard problem. Figure it out. Uh... Six and two-thirds equals twelve-thirds, and three and three-elevenths equals nine-elevenths, and then twelve times nine equals a hundred and eight, and three times eleven equals thirty-three, so you get a hundred and eight thirty-thirds? Oh, Ryan, that is completely incorrect. You multiplied the whole number with the numerator. That's not what you're supposed to do. Dude, you don't know the material at all. You need help. Kaden, please. I'm sorry, Miss Allen. I really can't do it. Okay, then. If you say so. Luke, can you come up here and solve the problem for the class? Sure thing. Thank you, darling. Okay. Six and two-thirds equals twenty-thirds. And three and three elevenths equals thirty-six elevenths. And then you simplify that, which gives you twenty over one and twelve elevenths. You then multiply that, which gives you two hundred and forty elevenths. The number eleven goes into two hundred and forty twenty-one times with nine left over. So the answer comes to twenty-one and nine elevenths. That is correct. Great job, Luke. I see you've actually been paying attention. What? That's not fair! She humiliated me in front of the whole class! Hey Ryan, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, great. Bro, this is not good. I know! What do you want to talk to me about? It's about your performance in my class. Ryan, you have a D. Technically, a D is still a passing grade, but... You're very close to failing. I'm sorry, Miss Allen. I just really have trouble with math. It's my weakest subject. I'm very disappointed in you, Ryan. It's like you're not even trying. I know you're more capable than this. I mean, look at Luke. He has an A in my class. He's doing so well. Luke is good at math. I'm not. Hey, I don't want to hear you talk badly about yourself. You can improve. I know that for a fact. I even offer extra help during lunch. No, I just want to eat lunch with my friends. Hey, do you want to improve or not? Yes, but why can't you just help me during class? Ryan, I am not going to sit here and argue with you for the rest of the period. You know the rules. I only help during lunch. Oh, you're so mean. Excuse me? Ryan, sweetie, I'm not being mean. I'm just trying to help you. 
What are you talking about? You haven't helped me at all since the first day of school. Okay, Ryan, that's enough. Just go back to your seat. We're wasting time here. <sighs> Fine. Okay, kids, where were we? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have you guys solve a few more problems, and then I'm gonna give you guys a worksheet. Oh, great. Mom, we're home. Hey, kids. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Luke. Hi, Ange. Hey. So, how was school, kids? School was fine, I guess. Oh, Ryan. I got a call from Miss Allen today. About your grade? Oh, great. You're not gonna take away my Xbox or anything, right, Mom? No, honey, but you are at risk of failing math. I'm in Ryan's math class. He's really having a hard time. It's Miss Allen, Mom. She's so mean. She won't help me. I hate her. I hate her too, Ryan. Like, Jess and I had her in sixth grade, and I also, like, really struggled in her class. Math is my weakest subject, too. I also, like, dread going to cheer practice because she's our coach. I agree, Maddie. Ryan got stuck with, like, two of the meanest teachers in the whole school. Miss Allen and Miss Jones. Yeah, they're both very mean. I hate both of them. Miss Allen isn't mean, Ryan. She's strict. There's a difference. That's another thing. Miss Allen favors Luke, all because he's a math whiz. Yeah, she, like, definitely plays favorites. Like, in Cheer, she favors Brianna and Cassidy. Like, Brianna, I understand, because she's, like, the sweetest thing ever. But Cassidy? Cassidy is, like, so stuck up and unfriendly. Yeah, Maddie. She, like, won't even talk to us. There were times where I, like, tried to initiate a conversation with her, and she, like, literally ignored me. She didn't even say hello back. Like, Miss Allen only favors Cassidy because she's popular and, like, her social status makes the team look good. Miss Allen's my favorite teacher. She's so nice. And she's hot. I think I have a crush on her. Dude, she's a 40-year-old woman. Not only that, but, like, she's married with two kids. Yeah, bro. Not happening. Oh, no. She actually is, like, really pretty. I have to agree with you on that, Luke. Yeah, her husband is the luckiest man alive. Oh, Ryan? Miss Allen did say something about you possibly going to her for extra help during lunch. No, she's the last person I want to spend my lunch with. Ryan, it's the only way you can bring your grade up. If you do get an F, then I will take your Xbox away. No, don't do that. Then go to extra help. For me. I'm sure it's not that bad. Yeah, Ryan. Like, I went to Miss Allen for extra help, too, when I was in sixth grade. It, like, wasn't bad at all. Yeah, she was one of my least favorite teachers, but, like, with her help, my grade went up. I didn't get an A, but, like, my grade went from a D to a B. That's, like, a big improvement. Oh, Ryan, remember what Mr. Morris said? If you fail any classes, they're not going to let you play basketball. What? That rule is so dumb. I mean, what does school have to do with basketball? Maybe they don't want sports to become a distraction, Rye. Ugh, fine. I'll go to extra help. I'll do it for basketball. Okay, Rye. Maddie, let's go to my room so we can, like, look at Halloween costumes. Okay, Jess. I, like, kind of want to go as Princess Leia this year. From Star Wars? Yeah. Hey, Luke, want to go downstairs and play Fortnite? Sure. Lunch, finally. Normally, I would be happy, but I have to go to Miss Allen's room for extra help. I'm failing math. Bro, that sucks. I'm gonna miss you in the cafeteria. Me too, bro. I mean, why do we even have to take math? We're never gonna use it in life. I know, man. It's so stupid and a waste of time. Not only that, but Miss Allen is the worst. She's just gonna give me a hard time. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Hi, Ryan. 
Come on in, sweetie. So you took my word for it, huh? Yeah, I guess. Well, you can come sit over here at my desk. You need help with fractions, right? Yeah, I hope this is worth it. Trust me, it will be. Okay, Ryan, you can go ahead and take out a piece of paper. Okay. Okay, so let's work on mixed fractions. You seem to struggle with those the most. Yeah, I definitely need help with those. Okay, so I'll give you a problem and you can write it down. Let's start with 2 and 1 third times 5 and 3 fourths. This is so hard. I know you can do it, kiddo. I'll help you. So the first step is you rewrite the mixed numbers as improper fractions. I don't know how to do that. This is all so confusing. So first you multiply the whole number with the denominator. What? Yesterday I multiplied the whole number with the numerator. I'm so stupid. Hey, don't say things like that. You then add that with the numerator and that becomes your new numerator while the denominator stays the same. Can you write that down for me? So it comes out to 7 thirds times 23 fourths. Great job. Now you multiply the numerators and the denominators together. Awesome. You then convert that back into a mixed number. To do that, you first divide the numerator by the denominator. So what is 161 divided by 12? I don't know, Miss Allen. Here, you can use a calculator. Thanks. So, 161 times 12. Oh, no, no, no. Not times. Divided by. I'm sorry, Miss Allen. It's okay, sweetie. I tend to mix up the two sometimes, too. It's no big deal. So, 161 divided by 12 is 13.42. So the number 12 goes into 161 13 times. So you multiply that with the denominator to get the remainder. So 13 times 12 equals 156. And what is 161 minus 156? 5. That's the remainder. Great job, kiddo. You then have 13 as your whole number, and the remainder becomes the numerator. And then you're done. So the denominator still stays the same? Yes, the denominator always stays the same, sweetie. So the answer is 13 and 5 twelfths. You got it, kiddo. So now I'm going to give you another problem, and I'd like you to try to solve it on your own, okay? I'll try. Okay, so try and solve 2 and 1 third times 4 and 2 sevenths using the same steps I just showed you. Okay, I'll try. So, Ryan, today is Friday. Do you have any fun plans for this weekend? I don't know. We might go to the store to get my Halloween costume. That sounds so fun. Do you have any idea of what you're gonna be yet? I think I might go as Batman. Nice. I think my oldest son, Jackson, is going as Captain America. And my youngest, Dylan, is going as Chase from Paw Patrol. I loved Paw Patrol when I was little. Can't believe it's still on. Yeah, it's Dylan's favorite show. Okay. Hey, Ryan, this is a picture of my sons. Nice. And here's a picture of me and my dog. His name is Charlie. Cute. Do you have any pets at home? I have a dog and two cats. What are their names? My dog is named Daisy, and my cats are named Luna and Oliver. Aw, so cute. So I finished the problem. Wow, great job. I knew you could do it. Oh, hi, Luke. Luke, what are you doing here? You don't need any extra help. It's okay. My door is always open. I just thought since it's Ryan's first time going to you for extra help, I'd come and check on him. That is so sweet of you. Yeah, man, I really appreciate it. So how is he doing? Oh, he's doing great. He just needed some help, that's all. 
That's great, bro. Now you can still play basketball. Oh yeah, I've seen you two on the basketball court. You guys are killing it out there. Thanks, Miss Allen. We both love the sport. I'm glad you like it. And Luke, I just want to say, I'm really glad that Ryan has a friend like you. Sure thing. I mean, Ryan and I have been friends since second grade. And again, my door is always open, okay? This goes for both of you. Okay. And Ryan, I want you to keep coming in here during lunch so that I can help you bring your grade up, okay? Okay, I guess. I know, sweetie. Going for extra help isn't exactly something kids enjoy doing, but it will help to bring that D up. You can still eat lunch with your friends for the most part, but I'd like for you to come in here during lunch at least a couple times a week so I can help you improve, okay? Sure, I guess. A D may still be a passing grade, but I guess I could do better. You got it, kiddo. Wanna try to solve another problem? Sure. Okay, you can solve four and a half times six and two fifths. Go ahead. Okay.